Okay, and then next we can measure that what is this my damage piston size and now for that measurement I need all of these my four pistons and then I need high quality this measurement tool and here is one tool my friend what I can recommend and you can purchase that in from ebay ebay.com and you only insert in me to toyo digimatic caliber and then I recommend that if you could find the tool what is made in Japan and then we can get those accurate measurement and now when I open this my tool I, we can see that my tool in here, there is of course some measurement document and even calibration document. This is important. And here is this, then this my measurement tool. And I turn on that in here and then we have scale and in that button I can reset that. And now this my tool is ready for measurement and now I start this my job so that I first measure that my damage piston that thickness and this is the thing and and even that I use that kind of measurement tool what measures this uh, 0 0.01 millimeters this lengths this is enough good for to uh, measure this my damage piston because there is so big amount of this material loss and now when I started this my measurement thing I firstly I firstly take that my piston in here and then then I insert this my tool, I, I open that my tool and this is the area where I can insert because I am now measuring, measuring that amount to in here, this the most thickness position and now when I insert that my tool in here it goes nicely, look directly, this is plain and it goes nicely and then I press that my measurement in this way in. I compress that in here and this area looks good, look that area and then we can see this measurement to look. It is 68.85 and this is this 68 and 80. This is this thing and, now, and actually now it went 68.74 is this amount and now I insert and actually I write this this amount in this my piston side in here because it is very important and now I take my pencil this is also excellent tool pentel permanent marker and there is made in China not it's made in Japan okay and this is very good for this metal paintings and now I insert that amount and it was 68.7. Is this right? Now oh, I measure okay. 60 68.7778. 
Okay, 60, 60, 68 point seven eight. This is this, and this is for millimeters. It is like, like six point six point eight centimeters. Okay, and this is like now piston three. I insert in here sign. And this is first measurement. And then I take next next piston in here and what is okay and I do same thing in here and I check that there is good compression and then I can see that this is 68.90 okay and this is piston 2 there is my markings okay and this is like first and then next piston okay and I measure and is it is 68 point nine two and this is piston number one Okay, and then final piston, and it is in here, and then I insert my tool and press, and it is 69.89, and this is cylinder 4. Okay, cool. And now I have made all of these my measurements and then I can insert this my pistons in like in here in side by side and we can check that what is the smallest piston in, in here. And this is this is the biggest one and then this is the Actually, this is the biggest one. And now we can see, when we look these pistons, that this is piston number one, and there is 68.92 is this size in here, and se second piston, piston two is 68.90. And then piston 4 is 68.89. And then that piston is much smaller. It is 68.78. And now it means that this my one piston is smaller. Let's look at how much it is smaller. I take my paper paper in here and calculation this other was almost 60 I insert 68.90 I use this 90 amount because this is even 92 and this is like standard standard size and then this my file rep piston, it is 68.78 da damage. damage. And now that means that there is calculation gives to my that there is two and there is one, 1.1 millimeter smaller. Okay, and this is quite much worn out. 
And that means that when out, when out, when out about one point, zero point one millimeters. Okay, and it is it is much, and I can even show that. Let's look that how much it is. I use this my measurement tool. And now I insert in here, here 0 0.1, look. 0 0.1. Let's look that can I insert that in here. 0 0.6. Little bit, 0 point, 0 point, little bit more. Quite difficult to insert. Okay, and now there is 0 0.8, and that means that when we look that amount, this is the sides that this uh, light goes through that area. And now I insert a little bit light that we can see. Now we can see that there is really, it is so big amount that here, now we can see that but this is too big tolerance in engines if we have 0 0.1 at uh, this amount now i have diffi difficulties to just adjust this 0 0.1 but it was almost in there let's test very difficult to set up but now i have so so big this uh, so big this cap in this my piston that this is totally scrap piston okay and in that way we can measure that what is this piston size and we can cancel and dismiss the bad piston and we can rip purchase new piston in this my engine okay that kind of information to you and all other pistons were that side and this damage is so bad okay and then final thing that how to repair that kind of issue if i have this my piston is bad and also this cylinder tube is a little bit bad okay there is this there is two two possible repair ideas and first one is not so excellent it's it's like a little bit satisfactory repair and the satisfactory repair is that i need to purchase some new or then used but a fine used this piston then and also it is good that there is piston and this connection rod and i am now planning to do in that kind of repair it is my first idea but then there is better ideas that i can also purchase like used engine from this internet shopping place this ebay.com and if you go in ebay.com and you insert into your search sign that toyota echo engine then we can find that there are engines in range 500 to 1000 us dollars and we can order this complete engine what is used but maybe there is mileage only like 100,000 miles because now in that my engine there is 200,000 miles and there is two issues first one is that I have to purchase that piston and then there is the second issue what is the biggest and the most problematic thing is that one of these my cylinder tubes, tubes this cylinder third cylinder three it is damaged and maybe there can be or even this 
a transformation that it is not circle this hole and it it can be even oval little bit oval because this my piston it has been overheated and of course we can think that why and how this my piston has been overheated first thing is that maybe i have been in sometimes in this engine too low amount of coolant and maybe too low amount of this engine oil and then also i could have been in so hot day that my engine it has been overheated you you know this temp meter and that's this my one piston it has been collapsed and it has been became too big and it has been take contact to against my cylinder tubes and and how i can avoid that kind of things there is three things what you should and i should to know and first one is that we have to use high quality engine oils like mobile one oil and we have to keep that oil level always in this top level and even little bit higher like little bit more like one millimeter higher is better because more oil makes this our engine cooler and cold because engine oil lowers these pistons and these cylinder tubes this heat heat temperature couple of uh, fahrenheit to down and then second thing is that we have to all time control our dashboards this temp meter that it is always in medium level because if our engine coolant temperature goes high also this my piston can become very uh, this uh, bigger and it can make this contact those two things and then this third thing is that if we have this small size engines like in that my Toyota Echo and Yaris engine we have to always think that this is so small engine that th that we we have to drive this engine very carefully because there is not so much power and if we drive with the small engines in all time in full power this my engine piston can expand too much because it is too much uh, this force and too much hot in this my piston that kind of information to you and this was really interesting issue and i hope my friend that you learned more and remember to use good quality engine oils and then control always temp meter and if you have small engines uh, do not stress and over overheat your engine and thank you my friend for watching and see you in next movie